Kool-Aid. I don't know, and Kool-Aid. I think I need Kool-Aid power to make this happen. You know, it's something about the the the, the that red dye. What number is that? It's like red dye, like 14. Red. I'm telling you, red 40 just does something to like to black genetics of youth, just to make them like you know super. You know, just make them make them more than man. And I need to summon the power of red dye 40. <laughs> to make this all work. <laughs> all right. And I gotta read my crazy handwriting. Here we go, from afar. <laughs> so, I'm gonna recap all 14 of your words. All right. Um, so we were supposed to do 10, but we're doing 14, so that means for all these extra words, the Anacostia Museum has awarded me a go-home plate, and don't worry, because I brought aluminum foil in my bag already. So, it's cool. <laughs> my mom always said, be prepared. Right. So, our first word is <laughs> robo. Robo, all right, and we have foo, as in kung fu, and you know, it's up to me to do something with that, however. Then we have shad, like a fish, and Wi-Fi, Anacostia, um, and pollution. I might need to move closer to this book so I can read this. Here we go. Uh. Huh? A book holder? No, no, no. It's all gonna tell you this is that. But that make your triceps like really tight afterwards though. <laughs> like the book holding duty is, is hard work. Alright. Alright, and then we have pollution. Beaver. Uh, then we have balloon. Rainbow. Barack Obama. Plastic, green roof, uh, laser, and then docent. There we go. So 14 of your words, Jesus. Is what I would need to complete this. Here we go. So I could clear my throat, come off, and I got 14 words to provoke. I gotta make this whole thing sound a little dope and go. Um, brother got a flow down to Anacostia on a wrong bow. I gotta get on it, flip up the different components. I'm not on the Anacostia, it's the Potomac, cause I heard the water's a little bad, a little clearer. I wish I had the book a little nearer, but I'm still going to do what I have to do and kick the words to you like Kung Fu. When we come through and hit this wild news, just like Morris Day in the time when I kick the rhyme. Do it like this, make sure the freestyle ain't bad. I catch Shad with a plastic bag, then go back and fry it up on the skillet. It's going to take me uh, just about a minute. You know why I used to go to Berry Steakhouse and fry some stuff with tater fry. Grease holding it down with this piece. Looking at all the words on the list, I gotta delete, put the flow in, I go back and hold it down, make it so popular like the Anacostia, river is the topic, crystals I drop it, like um, water on the ground, then you mop it up like a custodian when we bound the wind, taking all the words like a uh, hair off the chin, uh, and you know why we connect through the sky with the words with the Wi-Fi, signal that the gold digger got from me, but it's okay, I can still MC and do it like this because I got mad solutions cleaning it up like we do the pollution with the groundwork that we doing out here to make the water we come off a little clear uh making all y'all straight believers got a two liter they used it to build a dam with a beaver how to leave the freestyle complete we clean just like lever 2000 when we wildin' 
shaking up the drum like this, just a little bit of freestyling. And you know I will be back soon. It's like y'all never see me no more, just like you lost a balloon. With the helium wind is going in the sky, I bring it back a little bit and knock out the rhyme. And I got the glow like Bruce Leroy, that's not the glow, that's just the water making a rainbow up in the sky. Crystal's coming through with the freestyle, late like the letter Y, before the Z, in the place to be. With the E, the E, um, um, for MC, I guess. <laughs> Looking at the list, I get the next prospect coming back at ya without the drama. Trying to go again for another year, like um Barack Obama with the Hussein. Freestyle's coming in with the freestyle lane. I'm not one to complain. It's all the same. I'm about to go and knock all these words. I like a game, um, and knock it out just like the oil. About to go and get some aluminum foil and get some stuff off of there and rhyme. I'm in rip, cause a brother like the spinach dip <laughs> with the chips <laughs> and the cake. Chris Dow's coming, nigga, who's the mate? Um, this is how we do when we get loose, drink it like orange juice, get the solar power from the green roof up off the top. When I'm coming through, representing for hip hop, um, old school like the Ohio player, say the words, play the Jim Bay, I'm straight like a laser. When I hop on the microphone, do this thing at home. Peace to the homie with the iPhone pose. Hold on, stop. Gotta fix the clothes. Follow my nose just like two can Sam. I'm just like a bee because I'm built in the dam. Just like a bag of lint, taking all the words I'm on the list and trapping it in. Just like the liver. When Chris Dow's deliver, I said liver. My bet, I mean lither. <laughs> Cause I can't pronounce the T, but I heard that's very reminiscent of DC. <laughs> Cause that's how we sound when we got the freestyle, when we paint it all around. And this is how we go when we get in and in. Thank you very much. Make sure you dap up the docents. This right here is the freestyle touch. We gotta stop and say, up, up, up. thank you very much. <laughs> all 14 of your words. Thank you very much. Thank you. So I have one more little thing, one more little performance piece for y'all. Yeah, it's a lot of practice. I used to drive my mom, my little sister crazy with that because I used to go home out to school and sit down in the front row. Like, my sister's going in the kitchen, um, looking in the refrigerator, ain't nothing in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I used to freestyle about whatever was happening in the moment. I used to drive my mom, my little sister crazy. And then look, now I can pay rent with it. Thank you. <laughs> I, so what I like doing, I call myself a progressive hip hop artist because I take um, traditional style, um, the traditional um, music with hip hop, like <laughs> the beatboxing and rhyming, all traditional elements and stuff that happens in hip hop music. And, um, and I like the progressive, take it a little bit further outside of its cultural context by mixing it with all types of genres from all around the world. I do this type of programming, um, mixing together with different genres of music every month in Columbia Heights. I call it Washington Sound Museum. If you type in WashingtonSoundMuseum.com, you get the next performance and stuff that's happening. So this month I'm collaborating with, um, with um, South Indian classical um, musicians. So it's called Canartic Music, and so you're going to have a vocalist and their, and their skills and is amazing. So we're gonna mix those together. And a while back, I did a um, I did a, a collaborative project that mixed together old time uh, music on folk and banjo and ukulele and washboard with hip hop beatboxing and rhyming. And we called it Banjo the Beatbox. It came out in 2010. It was nominated for a Grammy that year. And that that album is available online and stuff. So you could definitely get that. And it's a family album. So if you have little ones, definitely get one for them. And so I learned about the connection of um, hip hop music and folk music. Like instead of hand bone, we do our we do that right there, you know. There are a lot of connections with folk music and hip hop, because hip hop indeed is um folk music, you know, it's all a um continuum. And um and I learned from going like this, because you know, a lot of um DC boys, we grow up banging on our chest all the time. We do the go-go beats on the chest. I remember one time a friend was talking to me. She was like, Yeah, yeah, I'm out here in Baltimore right now, do say from DC. I'm like, what part of DC say you from? Southeast? I like from he ain't from Southeast, he's from Baltimore. Like, nah, I like, just ask him to do a beat on his chest. And then she asked him, he couldn't do it. I'm like, he's not from D.C. He's not, he don't know how to do a beat on his chest. And then so chest, banging on the chest is just like hand bone. Then I learned another instrument that's really similar to hand bone, which is the spoons. So the spoons. Back in the day before there were human beatboxes in the world and five inch thick plexiglass to bang out go-go rhythms on, you had two people on the porch, one person playing the banjo or the guitar, and the other person listening said that this thing needs to be. So they ran into the kitchen and started getting 
buckets, pots and pans, and banging on those like I would have done. They got two spoons out the cupboard, put one between the fingers right here, right here, hit the leg, hand, and started making music. Now I have a really um, interesting spoon set right here. These spoons are curved for plain pleasure, and um, they're also welded together so I can never be accused for stealing silverware out of restaurants. So <laughs> always together right there, right? So showing up to a gig with one spoon is not the bee's knees, not unless you love yogurt that much. But that's a traditional rhythm right there. And so I wanted to mix different things up, and I wanted to see if if um, spoon playing could be found in different genres of music, you know, like like you could play um, you could play a saxophone in jazz, you could play sax a little bit different in blues. I wanted the spoons had the same thing. So you got the folk music style, you got gospel, you have reggae, and then my favorite Irish. That's it, right there for your river dance and pleasure. Right there. And so I wanted to make this a little bit different and make this interesting. So I started studying, um, I started taking the different things that I learned from playing beatbox, from playing the West African djembe drum, all these genres of music, and started adding this to the way I played the spoons and making it a solo instrument, like tap dancing. So here we go. This is my take on old school spoons. I was sliced, which is one of the one of our DC boys formulated. So, and um, and I wanted to take my take my spoon playing. I wanted to be a professional spoonist, you know, and take it to like, new levels, you know. So I was like, I right, I'm gonna be the first person to become a professional spoonist in the go-go band and officially replace the cowbell player. And so I had the whole I just had I just had that dream in my head, but I knew in order to get to that point, I'm gonna have to have some experience not only playing by myself, but playing with others. Because when you're in a group situation, you gotta know how to work with others. So you can't just like speed up or slow down at will, you know? You gotta work with others. So I have um, two siblings, an older brother and a younger sister. My older brother, my fellow bow cut recipient right there. We used to get bow cuts together. <laughs> I figured one of these cats could play the instruments, like the drums or something, while I practice on the spoon, soloing. So I went over to my older brother first, and he was playing PlayStation. The only time he presses pause is consume food and beverage. So nothing was happening over there. So I went to my little sister. My little sister was having a tea party with her favorite stuffed animals. So nothing was happening over there. Teddy bears and stuff was sipping the finest of Earl Grey, you know, and, and fresh baked scones from the Easy Bake Oven with the honey white light bulb. And so, so I was by myself once again with just me and my spoons. <laughs> And I thought to myself, I had one instrument that I also could play, the human beatbox. So maybe I could be my own human beatbox drummer and solo on the spoon simultaneously. But first I'm going to have to turn the human beatbox. So this is my last little giant. It's been a pleasure performing with y'all um, and y'all offering the energy and stuff and your crazy words for me to use this freestyle. Um, so before I end this thing, I'm gonna play like how I play at home. When I'm playing at home on the spoons and my next door neighbors think I'm Gregory Hines or something, I'm playing twice as fast. So the spoons twice as fast. And so 
Yeah, I just can't leave without doing that. So here we go. We're gonna go twice as fast. Professional spoon playing here. Right. This is regular tempo. And then we're gonna turn it up. Thank you very much. I'm Chris Dallas Bagan. It's been a pleasure, y'all. Thank y'all for having me out here.